The head raise orphan home, the colourful giant man, aided by his lovely partner in peril, are giving one of their frequent free shows for the benefit of N- N- the entrance youngsters gaping below. It is still, <coughs> and that is all the introduction <coughs> you have this time, because you were on the action, follows paths with you. And furious, we'll promise you that. Do you have to wear those pointed shoes and join these, these expedition points? No, oh, don't tell me that that itty bitty patty waspy is hurting the big, big, but strong giant man. Giant man and the wonderful wasp trapped by the porcupine. Down below, the youngsters in rap. Rap fascination, unaware of the strange figure whose watch is from behind the shadows behind them. I waited a long, waited a long time for this moment, and now it's here. By touching one of my many control studs, I can aim the necessary kills at my hatred enemy. A perfect shot. Ah, was something hit me. I lost my grip. I'm falling. Quick, Jen. Take a reducing pill before you hit the bottom, girl. But what good would that do? If you turn your, into the wasp in time, you can fly to safety. Don't worry about me. I'll be alright now. Now, quick. Swallow it. I never know how you think so fast, even in emergencies. There, I did it. Now, if only it's still, if only I will, it'll work in time. Good girl, you save yourself now. Fly out of your, from under my fly fall on you. I'm out of harm's way now. But what about you, Hank? How are you? Will you can you break your fall? I can. It won't help me to turn ant size. I sprout no wings when I do it. My best bet is to remain large. My muscles being twice their normal strength, size and strength, they aim me to do a full flip before striking the, the ground, slowing my speed and letting my legs absorb the full force of the landing. Ah, I rolled with the impact. My ankle still had to bear the weight of 360 pounds on it. Bah, he's escaped with nothing worse than a fractured ankle. I'll have to do better next time. I'll make my mistake. Now, while I can't, while well, I can, then I'll return to my lab and find a foolproof method destroying Giant Man. I owe him, owe him that. I'm still beginning to remember how successful my crime career began. My power quills could do almost anything. Stall motors, open bank vaults, can fly me to safety. Everything went my way. Thanks to the ingenious porcupine suit I invented, I was still working on my industrial designer. As an industrial designer, each quill was different weapon. It told me giant man and wasp. Just when I thought I was unbeatable, it squirted liquid cement on my porcupine so covering up almost all the quills and cement hardened instantly, rendering me helpless. All my offensive weapon quills covered with quick drying cement. Can't use any of them. Giant man outsmarted me. Luckily, I was able to escape by hurling through the window, propelling myself for safety from with my rocket, my powerful rocket, powerful jet quills. Giant man and a wasp had beaten me. Except he was Ant Man at that time. If I had a li- that liquid cement had not been nearby. I would have been destroyed, Ant-Man, his female partner. But next time we'll meet, 
that he will not be so lucky. Returned to the lab, but the porcupine removes his protective suit, in reverting back to the identity of Alex Gentry, inventive genius. This new concoction of mine will finish Giant Man f- forever. It's a new type of sleeping gas, potent, for no- enough to knock out a pair of lungs or as strong as a, a giant man's, but I got to think of a way to get close enough to minister it, it to him. Wait, I think I know the answer. Out of almost every big city has a giant man in the Wasp Fan, Wasp Fan Club. New York will be no exception. If I can just find a phone number. A short time later, a meeting in the midterm chapter of one of the many giant man wasp fan clubs. Okay, members, let's all put on our giant man villains costumes. All got mine already. Ah, they're terrific. You're supposed to be the bla- to be the Black Knight. Look at me. I'm the human top. Look. More like the human termit, Charlie. Hey, fellas. Just a knock at the door. Let all they can get them. I make to show off my outfit. Oh, I'm a fan of uh, Giant Man's. My welcome in, Egghead. Say, you can recognise me. Who? Recognise who my costume is. Suppose we must, you must be. A fan, sure, come in. I especially realise I'm considerably older than you lads. I hope you have no age limit for your new, your members. Gee, never thought about that. Now if you're a fan, you're a fan. I guess that's it. You're very kind, and now I have an idea for you. I heard Giant Man is laid out of an ankle, injured ankle. Don't you think you'll enjoy having us visit him, wearing those costumes of his old villains? Say, that! what a really great idea. I would have really cheer him up. And yes, I write, it's a good, great idea. I, all I know, and I just know the costume I'll be wearing. Oh, only mine would be the real thing. Later in the downtown floor, four floor loft, which Giant Man rents as a combination gym and lab, we find him resting with his ankle in a cast. Can't wait till his heels jam. I can't change my size until the bone sets, unless I want to shatter it completely. I can't wait till you recover, either. I'm getting wary of being a nurse mate to a big, bold, hopeless you. Listen, handsome, what's all that, that ruckus in the street? Sounds like a parade of sorts. Oh, no, it's the whole caboodle of your fans in costume heading this way. Well, well, come in, little friends. What are you, what are you all about? Oh, you're all just what the doctor ordered. Now, don't get too wild or get or get Giant Man too tired. He's supposed to be resting. Giant Man, Giant Man, boom, 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 boom. How do you like our costume, Giant Man? Can you tell who we are? Of course I can. Well, the Black Knight standing next to the butt to doom. But the real, but yours is the most realistic costume, porcupine. You can say that again. My costume should look realistic. The unexpected real, full realise that I am the real porcupine. Okay, I just remembered. I left a present for Giant Man downstairs in my car. Could you get it, Wasp? It's the green sedan on the corner. 
Certainly, I wouldn't dream of tearing one of my blue-eyed partner's fans away from him to wait here. Right here. Right here. I just received myself to the lost side by taking a little capsule and making travelling go much easier for me. It worried. It worked. She didn't suspect a thing. Now we're out of the way. I can execute phase two of my plan. It would be a pleasure to get a breath of fresh air. All right, kids. Now it's time for us to take our masks off and show Giant Man who we really are. I can't get over the porcupine's costume. It's so authentic looking. Doesn't seem as home done as all the others. Now, while the, the kids are busy fumbling with their masks, within seconds I can be the only one Still awake in this entire room. Before anyone can make a move, the entire area is filled with thick, odorous gas fumes. Then the mist begins to begin to clear. What happened? Where am I? I'm so tired. Can't keep my eyes open. Tired. I know the kids would feel the effect first. They'd be asleep within five more seconds. I have to lie down, shut my eyes, can't stay awake any longer, can't fight it, tired, have to sleep. The effects on them will last a full half hour, but now Giant Man is falling un- under. I arrange it so that he never awakes. But then the giant man moves with inspected speed. You thought my ankle would stop me from grabbing you, huh? I'm not worried. You'll be asleep within seconds. Not if I can help it. I, although it's painful to put my weight on my ankle, I can use the ring for support like a cane. And now I'm supposed the two of us take a little ride. Being twice as large as anyone else, it takes such it take takes such things as sleeping gas twice as long to affect me. And now my spinning around the ring, breakneck speed, could blow everything every last trace of sleep gas out room, making your plan a total failure. I've had enough. See now how easily I can escape you. I merely make my quills beat against your arm like a thousand pandemic pandemic dreams. Ah, I knew it. You had to let go. And now I leave. You advise you not to follow me. Remember the power power, power wasp is now my prison of the wasp. The oversized fool doesn't realise when I spent her down to my car. I had the car booby-trapped. Once she's opened another door to get in, it was shut tight behind her, trapping her inside. I've flown down enough. It's time to shoot on my seduction trip quill. My jet propelled me in short spurs. I have to use it in my integrity to order to stop, which is what I'm doing now. Once my suction cap quill at the end of an unbreakable steel cable catches out on a building or solar object, I can then reel myself it is thus stopping my jet propelled escape flight. Perfect. I calculated its distance perfectly. This will bring me right to the spot where I parked my car. Giant man is watching. He must finally realise that he never have a chance against the unbeatable porcupine. He's far more dangerous, far more powerful than we, we, he was when I first met and fought him. Which is all the more reason 
I must go after him now. I must stop him, no matter what the cost. The doctor told me not to use my ankle. I must. There's too much to s- at stake. Is a wasp? Is Porcupine's prison? No power on earth will keep me from finding him. I was a fool to let her go. I know errand for him. I should have expected from the start it was a trap. I can't visualise his entire plan. In a package of... He had a package in the back seat. The wasp flew in and landed on it. Instantly, the shield of unbreakable glass shut up from behind the driver's seat. The prisoner jammed in the back. I can almost imagine how she must have cried out in alarm when she discovered... No, the handle's on the door. No way to reach, way, way out for me to reach, no way for me to reach the driver or the street outside. There's no point in wasting a drove pill. What good would it do to me? By the time he was very arrived, almost a whole tableau in his mind, I, the grim, vis- visualised giant man, Reached the street only to find it too late my ankle blown on blown at me da- blown on me down too much can't reach them. He's getting away, Scott Frey and with Jan. Back his lab. The giant man adventurer as he switches on his amazing cybernetic communication device. I've got to contact my loyal ants. Only they can help me now. With the aid of a built-in cybernetic amp power in his head, Cal, the genius of Sir Henry Pym, is able to make the faults known to his ever-present army of ants. You must come to the city. Do not stop until you have found a wasp. These orders cannot be countermanded. But minutes later... He's shot to see. I, it's hopeless. The porcupine anticipated a move. His car is emitting clouds of DNT. The ants who, lo- who locate him cannot report back to me. Finally, the porcupine brings his lonely c- captive to a specifically prepared building at the edge of town. No harm shall come to you, but we'll... But you will remain a prisoner here until you reveal giant man's true identity to me. You'll be locked in that, the room, a room which is escape proof. Human agency can make it. Sooner or later, uh, you will not, you'll tell me what I must know. Never. I'll never betray the giant man. Not if I stay there forever. Those are brave words, but you see... What you say after a few days of solitude you have brought you on the brink of madness. You're the one who's mad. Giant man will find me sooner or later. When he does, there'll be no place on earth where you can hide. Meanwhile, the towering Avenger feels the anger his breast burst in the praxterium, a white-hot fury. I can't just remain here, doing nothing. I'll find a wasp. I have to tear the entire city apart. Once I make, get my hands on a porcupine, I'll make sure he'll never return to menace anyone again. Nothing short of death itself will stop me. I've worn these bandages long enough. No injury, no pain can stop me now from what I have to do. Meanwhile, well, the outskirts of his hidden laboratory, the porcupine prepares for phase two of his subtle plan to destroy a giant man. The girl believed my story. He doesn't suspect my real motive. He doesn't know that the escape room is not escape proof. I really want her to escape. When she does, she will head to the giant man's headquarters. Hot secret headquarters. And this electronic radar grill attached to a body, attracted by body heat, will follow her. Always oh, re- written in readiness. 
I will put, I have to put, I have to remove this tiny plug and get the wasp. Let the vet think she has found an escape route. Years later, what a strong, strong good luck. This tiny knot hole was probably too small for the porcupine to notice, but not too small for a wasp to escape from. You're almost too easy. Almost. There goes the wasp. There goes my genius little quill. Which radio back her location during every flight. Every second of flight. She's working like a charm. She's heading up the west side of Manhattan. But it is slow. She's resting every third block. It's a long journey for one so small. Now she's heading for the Judge Washington Bridge. Giant man's home must be in New Jersey. And shortly later, a small flying figure wings away to the window of a quiet home overlooking the Hudson Plexitades. You can leave the test shoes now, Dr. Jekyll. We have a loving little partner back again. Was you escaped. I was just working a new formula to, lo- to locate you by energy, energy imprint of your heartbeat. I never realised I could miss anyone so much. Why about anyone so much? Need anyone so much? With you gone, I felt as though, wow, big boy, hold it. Wait till I get slice size again so you can put your arms around me while you say that. The signal's assault with me, just one thing. I found Giant Man. Now to finish him off for good. I know the extent of his, po- his p- powers. With my Pokemon power costume, oh, I am his master. Even if he escapes me, I shall know his real identity. He'll never be able to hide from me. When the underworld learns that a Pokemon is the one who defeated a giant man, I shall be able to write my own ticket. I shall become the king of crime. But the Pokemon is not dealing with a child. Ross, something is hovering in here above you. Don't like it. The one mighty movement of his gigantic arm, the mighty adventure, smashes the radar, quill to smithereens, but the damage is really done. The porcupine is on his way. It's a miniature device. I think you've been tricked, little partner. Prepare for action. So confident it is a porcupine that he neglected to detect next his DTT defiance vapor as he drives across the Russian bridge. Look, Jan, a message from the ants. A porcupine is on his way. He's almost here. Correction, giant man. I am here. Thanks to my concussion race quill smashing down your doors. It's him quickly, was Fly to safety. There's no place, no safe place when you you fight fight the porcupine. Watch my paper f- fly, my paper pellet bring her down. Oh no! It's one of those large sticky sheets. Touch me! I'll be no use to Giant Man. Giant Man, I can't move. I'm trapped. Can't count on me for help. You've got to beat him alone. I'm actually glad Jan is out of the way, out of it. Pokemon is too dangerous, I wouldn't attack him alone. He's leg, he must still be weak. If I can aim this table accurately. Ah, he's hit my fractured ankle. It's agony, but I can't let it stop me. Now you're weakened. How do you weaken you, giant man? I'll finish the job uh, as only the porcupine can. Your costume is a heroic one, but it's t- too bad you neglected to include a gas mask, as I have, so that you couldn't be stopped by one of my sleeping gas quills. Should have prepared f- for this, but I can't let it affect me. It's so powerful, so far-sighting. I'm, I'm, but I've got to fight it. Mustn't be, go under. Mustn't. 
I won, I beat him then. But with one valiant, almost superhuman effort, the giant crusader grasps the edge of the rug beneath his feet and shakes fast and furious. This ought to dispel the gas. I'll blow it through the He'll blow it through the window. I never thought he'd bounce back so quickly. Now he's coming for me. I have to hide in some small space where he can't reach me. I should be safe here. At long last, at least long enough for me to think of another plan of attack. But there can be no safety when you fight a foe who can all decide by mere swallowing a cat's or so. There's no place to hide. You can hide, Pokevine, where Ant-Man cannot reach you. You outsighted yourself this time, you, f- you fool. You made yourself too small. I to crush you like a flea. Even try to catch a flea is tougher than you think. <coughs> you just lost all his caution. Good, now for another growth tablet. Now Polkabine will finish. Now Polkabine will finish this off under giant man- man's terms. He's caught me napping. I still have a chance. I let him grab me. He's sure to pick up me up. That's what I want. I've got to be able to reach his belt his belt captains. So he decided to stop running. Oh or both. There's a man that saves us both. A lot of unnecessary trouble. So far so good. I've got to be sure he did not didn't feel me reaching for his capsule pouches. I'm not surprised at you, you, Porcupine. I expect you to put about a better fight than this. Are you still f- planning something tricky? As the giant man speaks, holding the Porcupine up off the ground, effortlessly as though weightless, one quill covered arm silently moves forward, and you seem strangely silent. If you if it didn't know better, I think, wait, my, con- my capsule pouch, too late, you oversized full buffoon. I've taken a handful of your growth capsules. This sneezing gas quill will hold you off while I swallow them. Stop, don't, you don't know what you are. God damn it, don't worry. I know what I'm doing, all right. If one cocktail makes you twelve time, twelve feet tall, imagine how big I'd become when I take all your growth pills, and when you won't have a chance against me. You mad? You mustn't take them all those capsules. Let me explain. Wait, man, you can't help but keep the terror out of your voice. You know, you know, you're finished. Now it's too late. I've taken them. I already feel them beginning to take an effect. Already. Within seconds I'll be able to remain, smash you. At will. You're finished, giant man. The porcupine is won. Wait, what's happening? I'm not getting bigger. I'm getting smaller. I tried to warn you. I'm in, in your frantic case. You took the wrong capsules. I'm getting smaller and smaller. You took the reducing capsules, but the one, but one of them is enough to have a, a man in size, and never dare to take more than one. It's useless to call to me that you're too small. I can't even hear you. Help me, help me. There's no way to help you. At the rate you're shrinking, you'll be out of sight within seconds. You're gone. You're stuck. Shrunk to the size of a microwave. For all I know, he's still shrinking. Hey, big boy. Let's not forget your lovable partner in peril. I admit this fine paper is cuddly and cosy. But how about getting me out of here? Thanks, lover boy. Now, what? where is he? Just point me at the poker vine. I'll settle him. I have, I have it settled him for you. No mere man can wrap me in fly paper and get away with it. I might your enthusiasm, Bowl, but the job's been done. He's obligingly disposed of himself for us. And this time, 
I hope it's for keeps. For those of you who are familiar with such things, have a superstition that somehow, in some way, porcupine may sometime return more dangerous than ever. You know, some things you may be right if it, something if you may be right so don't take any strange capsules till next time next again next